So I've been reading about this uh, drone situation in Ukraine. Uh, apparently drones have been playing a massive role in what's going on over there. And I'm not talking about drones. I'm not I'm not talking about your DJI type drones. Hmm. Although those have actually been a part of it. Consumer drones that have been fitted up, kitted up. We talked about it on this show in the past. You had, what was it? Like a pen cap or something that was acting or, or was it? Some sort of, like, hack in order to... Oh, no, it was a bottle cap to cover the fuel tank on a consumer drone that had been converted into some sort of spy drone. Yeah, very DIY. Very DIY. Yeah. And drone experts were kind of making fun of the fact, well, I'm talking about the real deal drones. I'm talking about military drones that on the Ukrainian side had been apparently quite effective in the early days of conflict. Uh as a, a kind of assault on military vehicles on the Russian side. Now, many of those drones were donated to Ukraine via Turkey. Uh, let me just look up the name. Turkish designed Bayraktar TB2 drones. And they were credited in the early days of the conflict with eviscerating Putin's tanks and armor and that's what they look like i mean it, it it looks like a looks like an aircraft to be honest like a like a whole one whole aircraft minus a pilot mm. they're big very big and uh, apparently recently russian forces on the ground have gotten better at detecting them and taking them down now the reason that's a big deal like you're saying well it's a it's a drone. If something's going to get shot down, there's no person in it, right? You're remote in controlling it, but they're so expensive and limited that once the opposing force becomes proficient at eliminating them, you got to rethink that strategy because it's not going to be economically vi viable for an extended period of time. Uh, experts told Insider that the, the drone wonder weapons are becoming increasingly ineffective because Russia has improved its defense systems and is downing and jamming many of these drones. Uh, getting back to the cost of these things, they're around one to two million dollars each. Every time you have one of these downed, one or two million dollars out the wallet, exits the wallet. Mm. So it's not going to be sustainable. Now, they've received around 50 of these drones uh, from this Turkish arms company that makes them. Since the invasion began, Turkey, I guess, uh, an ally here in, in this case for uh, Ukraine. But they're going to have to change their tactics now that these things are being so easily detected and strategies change, and as warfare continues, that's what's going to happen. Someone's going to make one move, another one's going to make an, uh, another move. Uh, in the meantime, the U.S. said that they plan on selling an even more advanced drone, the General Atomics MQ-1C Great Eagle armed drone with even greater capabilities. By the way, I said that the 50 previous drones were donated. I'm not sure on that. They they received them. I don't know what type of deals were made, if at all. Uh, but either way, they ended up there. Uh, those new drones, the General Atomics MQ-1C Gray Eagle armed drone, those babies are $10 million each. $10 million each. Now... These ones are a lot bigger. The thing about these is that they're apparently not as quick as like a uh, aircraft, like a fighter jet. They fly a little bit lower, and that's what makes them particularly susceptible to anti-aircraft, machine gun fire, and so forth. And so the rumor is now that uh, Ukraine's going to get out of this like drone fighting business and, and actually ask for fighter jets instead. 
So that's a little development, little update on some of the tactics. You can see there, you got a, a Ukrainian serviceman shooting a Russian drone with an assault rifle. Just drone uh, targets. It goes that low, eh? Yeah, reachable just from plain old machine gun fire. So the, maybe the future of, uh, of warfare, we're still leaning on some of these traditional methods because the drone warfare, n not quite to the point where it's untouchable uh, via traditional defense systems.